Hi Libra, welcome to your late December reading. Uh, it is my pleasure to read for you guys. As you know, these readings are timeless and signless, so you don't actually have to have Libra placement anywhere in your chart, and you don't have to be watching at this time. All right, <laughs> at this time, you can watch anytime, you know what I mean. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading with me, please feel free to uh, reach out. Just remember that right now I do have a wait of up to two weeks, so if you're cool with that, hit me up. All right, so let's jump right in. Okay, so um, Libra, the first thing that I'm seeing here is that you are about to receive some type of, I want to say the word guidance, but it's coming through as a person. And I'm, <laughs> I almost said it coming through as a man. So it does, it, it, I mean, well, usually if it's something or someone coming in, it could be male, female, but literally they said man. Uh, but just um, understand that something is coming through for you soon. And it's interesting because uh, if not in the mid-December, then the December reading that I did um, earlier this month, they said that you were going to be receiving, yeah, it was the December one for the whole, actually the whole December reading is still playing out, so please go back and check that December monthly reading that I did uh, two readings ago because it's still playing out. And um, it said something about you needing to receive something still, and I do feel that this is it. It does come across as a person, and they said man. So for those of you watching, this could be um, biologically a male person. Now, is it romantic? I, I, DK. I don't know. We don't know, but that is coming through as a soul contract. Now, um, I see you waiting. You're primed and ready. <laughs> Ooh, look at the next card. Reassurance of the golden light, as if, you know, the first reading, the first message wasn't clear enough and there's the love card <laughs> as if the first and second reading wasn't good enough or message okay so spirit is saying that right now what's happening if you're finding yourself oh, whatever oh one and two whatever that is <laughs> those need to come out oh three okay um if you find yourself right now feeling very frustrated or feeling delayed or you're like dude what's going on um I do see that there is a prepping period and it's funny because I literally just saw a suit like superimposed upon this card like a suit or tuxedo just boom just like that and now it's gone but I mean obviously it's still there I'm also getting the word laundry so for some of you maybe you do need to launder a suit um, or the two may be exclusive but um, what I'm getting is uh, the laundering could also have to do with you being cleaned up, so to speak, because, oh, the, didn't the beginning of the Libra December reading also say fixer upper? <laughs> Literally like one of the first words out of my mouth um, for that reading. So go check that out. Yes. Oh, laundry. Yes. OK, I'm seeing it right here. OK, got it. So this is about um, getting yourself cleaned, getting yourself suited up. Again, I'm seeing that suit reference. Uh, I do see here, now I'm starting to think, is this the person that's coming in for you that needs to be suited up? It's quite possible because take a look, whenever this card is laid, this love card, it's very common that one person would fall on this side and the other would fall on this side. And I do feel that now as it, I'm feeling into the energies, this is um, the male energy. So if you are expecting a love relationship, you're kind of going to know, you're kind of going to be in the space where like, um, where are you at? You know, you probably have been waiting or you have probably had some signs. Uh, I do think a few of you may not know, but wow, <laughs> I'm getting, um, Christmas energy, so around Christmas 25, 26, 27, um, this may be when this person comes in, let's say formally. Now, two words are coming there, formally, like, okay, officially, now they're going to take some action where it's going to be like, oh, okay, so this is happening. And the other word is formerly. Oh, let me just go back to that because they're pulling me back. So formally in the sense like you're like, oh, OK, this is happening it's because something is going to change in the way that they approach you. Either they're going to be more vocal with you. They're going to open up to you more. They're going to pay attention to you more. You, you, could, you could feel their eyes on you. It's it's just a difference when you don't have someone's energetic focus on you as opposed to when they do start to focus on you. Now, sometimes they could be doing less in the physical world but still be focused on you and you could feel it or in the, by the opposite they could totally be not paying any attention to you but still be interacting with you and you can feel it as well so i'm seeing that there's going to be a formal turning towards you energetically um the other word that i got was formerly uh, so that tells me that uh for 
a lot of you guys, this is somebody from your past. Now, I would say, duh, past could be a past lifetime, duh. But I'm getting that it could be somebody that you already know, okay? That's the realm of personal reading, so we're going to let that go. You have to kind of get a personal reading or do some meditation that goes inward in order to confirm that. But I'm seeing that the reason why this person was so delayed, that I'm going to go ahead and use the word delayed. Um, the reason why this person was so delayed is because it seems like they were trying to get something done or they were trying to work through something or have something done for them. I, I'm just sitting here feeling like this, this card needs to come in, whatever this is. I haven't looked at it yet, but... Um, yeah, so this is what's going on. You've been waiting. And that's what I, I was kind of saying on their end. Spirit is saying that they've kind of been waiting. They've been suiting up. They, they've been um, just doing something that is amounting to them getting ready. But meanwhile, on your side, you're kind of there waiting. Okay, let's go ahead. Look. Oh, stop. Look at the card. It says now. Okay, so... Dear God, I hope I'm in this collective of Librans <laughs> being read for right now. But either way, they're saying now. So the now card is saying, yes, this is coming in now. And guys, you know, if you know me, you know, I take umbrage with Spirit's word now because their now moment is our next three months. And to me, I'm like, no, <laughs> now means now. In this case, though, what they're saying is now like, yeah, around Christmas time coming in. But also now in a sense, it's lining up underneath this al alchemical mutation where I'm just seeing this energy of somebody mm, nipping something in the bud, somebody getting something into arrangement, somebody, it's like moving into a new status of some sort or doing something new or, or closing out something. It really just depends on what your, um, who your person is and who you are, right? Dark angel, okay. Yeah, they're saying, uh, now they're saying formerly from the past. So in a sense, they're acknowledging that this is somebody from your past, but also it's somebody who was formerly from your past because remember now they're in your now moment, right? There is some contention there. I feel that this person may have had their eyes closed to you for whatever reason. Um, I'm also seeing a back turn to you, but it's a soft back. So you see, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, you see these cute little feathers right there? It's a soft back. So um, that tells me that even if you guys were, um, so maybe it wasn't a full shut off. Maybe you didn't end because you argued or something like that. Maybe it was just, maybe you could still connect with each other if you wanted to, but connection wasn't happening. Just whatever it is, I'm not seeing like this knockout, drag out, knockdown, drag out fight um, where it's like, I hate you and I hate you. <laughs> Those are doors closing, not knives <laughs> and um and then you like went to your respective corners i don't see that okay does that mean that can't be you i mean maybe but this is just seeming a little bit more like a gentle thing and again a turning away from kind of let's go ahead and whoopsies and see this and oh um, there you are yeah i'm getting this card turning around because i'm seeing a lot of you know what this is feeling like this is feeling like the hourglass you're just like you're like this so if this is you, Libra, well, this is definitely your side, Libra, unless you're resonating with this side, and then good for you. But this is the side I'm getting you from. You've just been waiting. I'm, and look, it's like this, is, this looks like peaceful waiting, but you saw it turning around. It's like, okay, any minute now, all right, well, come on. And so I'm just getting that, and I do feel that this energy has been delayed for the most part. I do see that delays have been um, measured. So um, what that means in the way it's coming out, coming, uh, coming through for me, is that your delays, the delays that have, been, that have been happening have been serving a purpose, although it's just like, uh, it's almost like, you, you know, to you, it, it's, it's, well, I guess painful, <laughs> but from a higher perspective, it's like very measured out. It's like there is a plan here and well, the de very definition of a delay kind of means like there w was there a plan, but yes, there was a plan and, and maybe plans shifted to accommodate new things or um, detours or just who, what, where, when, why we don't know. We probably never will in this time frame. However, 
I do see that that is coming up. This is what I'm getting here, soul child. Now that's interesting because what I'm seeing here, let's see, make sure you guys can see it. What I'm seeing, I'm sorry. <laughs> what I'm seeing in this card here is this huge energy that's waiting to be received by you. Super cute, right? And there are your angels helping you to receive it in. So this connection, whatever this, whoever this connection is, um, is definitely one where it's not just oh okay i'm getting a man or i'm getting a woman or just whatever no it's you're getting a lot more it's a huge reception of something and we see this reassurance of you receiving something one second guys okay sorry <laughs> um we see you receiving something for sure but it's not just like a new partner it could be like a, a major love person. I do see on the other side of this, there's this past life activation. Yeah, as I'm saying that, <laughs> forgive my nail. <laughs> as I'm saying that, I'm just seeing um, this focused energy. So spirit is pushing this person in and then here. So this person is being assisted with being pushed in because see how focused spirit is as they push him and as they blow this person in and here you are waiting with open arms to receive this person this big energy that's coming in and look even your guides are standing there to help you receive this so if that doesn't speak to the mag uh, magnanimity magnanimity why am i blanking on this word if this doesn't speak to the magnanimous nature magnanim okay ridiculous anyway <laughs> If this doesn't speak to the sheer sizing of this um, gift or this person, then I don't really know what can. Okay, now I'm going to be up until 2 a.m. <laughs> trying to think of what that word is. Um, just kidding, I'll just hit Google. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and look. Uh, I'm seeing traveling for somebody here. So somebody is traveling, and I, I'm, I'm getting it to be on this this side the libra side or quote unquote the female side um remember i'm saying female side but it's more like the polarity it could be male female whatever but um this is uh this person is traveling i'm just getting a lot of trees i'm getting a lot of nature i'm just smelling a different air it's just more natural so this person is doing a lot of traveling oh look signs from heaven how cute um, um this is giving me the idea that they're going to be receiving oh that, how, that's really cute um they're going to be receiving this energetic placement let's say during rest time so what that means um in plain english is that again you may be gaining a partner or meeting someone new or, or rekindling with somebody but this person that's coming in doesn't just come with a body it comes with a soul it comes with like boom it's just this large energy so this is a pretty significant connection and so let's just say that you're going to start receiving more information about them more energetic exchanges okay i'm being guided towards these cards <laughs> you saw my hand like uh, um being guided towards these energetic um this energetic exchange before the person even comes through and this is this person leap of faith yeah this other person look at them they're they're working hard scrubbing up this is like scrubbing up this is about cleaning up closing out cycles doing new things uh just leveling up altogether and one for the connection, the miracle of nature. Didn't we just talk about nature? I get this idea. When I said miracle of nature, miracle, yes, because it's really talking about this connection. Because this connection feels pretty divine, to be honest. And destined and miraculous and very high vibe. It just feels good. Especially once the two come together. So let's just go ahead and say the U word, union. Okay? And I'll leave it at that. But... The nature part gives me this idea that, okay, maybe the female energy has been kind of purposefully bounced around kind of to buy the time while waiting for this. Does that make sense? So maybe the two of them were supposed to come together earlier. And for whatever reason, there were delays, whether it's because of something on the male side, which is what I'm feeling, but it's never always one person, right? 
Um, yes, what they're saying is, yeah, it is, because they, that person needed to learn some lessons, okay? And getting some karmic lessons, this person needed to close out some cycles, and also getting to mature some more, okay? So whatever's going on here, this person needed to mature some more, level up some more, and you know how it is, the women are always ready first, we're like, what's going on? But may maybe it feels like they've been, um, what's the word, uh you know, delayed and sent around. And I mean, as a Libra, I can totally, I mean, <laughs> I've used placements in Libra, but it's much stronger than my Aries son. Um, I can uh, relate to at least the traveling around part. And after a while, I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I traveling so much? Right. But I'm also getting that for some of you Libras, you've been given uh, quote unquote, I don't, I just doesn't, this isn't meant to sound as diminutive as it, it sounds to my ears, but a boy toy, okay? It's almost like, you know what it is? Oh, okay, it's like, it's, you know what it is? You've been given a distraction. So there's somebody else. This is bringing in a, a, a third person now that maybe you've been um, purposefully given to distract you so that you can focus on you and not focus so much on this person that's finally ready to come in where the hell he been sorry i added that anyway so it's kind of like been yeah so moving around focusing on someone else some of you have been dating talking to somebody new just whatever and it's like i that gives me the vibe that that um dare i say it the person you probably have been focusing on is not the person for you right we don't know but that's kind of what i'm getting or it could be that the person that you are focused on is the person, but that person's been shutting you out or just, we don't know until let's say Christmas. I don't know. At the bottom here, look, balance. This is what I'm getting. Whatever this card is at the bottom wants to come in as well. Oh, okay. Hello. Bonjour. <laughs> um, change and change and I can't even talk. No. <laughs> change and transition and balance, right? So what I'm getting here is, and then this one wants to come in, take time to breathe. Okay. They, that's it. That's exactly what I was just saying. Wasn't I just saying that? Look, so this is about two people starting to come into union with each other. Now, one of you, the female energy or the female polarity, you've been kind of, yeah, this is over here, kind of put on rest. And you're like sitting there waiting, you know, being, I want to say being forced to travel, <laughs> you know, just, just biding your time, like distractions. And the other one, the male energy, the masculine energy polarity has been going through changes, right? And so that's what we see. And so right here, this is about time to come together. Okay, let's go ahead and pull these cards. That's what time is it? 17 something. Oh, you know, folks. Let's go. Oh, God, guys, you guys, if you follow me, you know I'm very Libran. But listen, I have Aries placement in the negative at times. I am very impulsive. Yeah, look, the next word I was going to say, I don't like to not know. Trust the great mystery. I don't like not knowing because I do have Virgo rising. Look, listen, you tell me what to do. Tell me where to go and I'll act surprised when I get there. That's how I am. I don't like not knowing what I'm doing because I'm also very rewards driven. So we're just doing all this work and like, wait, where's the, you know, <laughs> look, be playful. Just as I said, <laughs> we're doing all this work and where's the payoff? I need payoff. Anyway, that's just me personally. God bless. You know, I'm on this call too. Um, be playful, Spirit is saying, reclaim your power. Now, I'm saying this from the feminine perspective, like, listen, you got me out here on the rope dopes like I <laughs> don't want to waste my time. But this energy is also coming through from the male perspective is what they're saying. Reclaim your power. Be playful. It's almost like I don't know how to explain it. It's just one. It's a glitch, a quick glitch where I get a quick energetic hit and then it's hard to explain it in in the limited human language that we have and it, the best words I can say is this came through as the masculine from the masculine and for the masculine so you're probably like wait what it's one of those things okay <laughs> I'm just seeing masculine energy still a little bit in hiding so this is telling me yeah I'm hearing the words wait still here wait even though this is saying now there is, is still a little bit of wait because it's only the 21st and Christmas is coming up but it's still some days away um, and, you know, I'm seeing this could even extend into January 4th kind of territory. Like, 
you know that's just what i'm getting that's that masculine energy they're stepping up they're they're let's imagine that you're trying to meet up with this person for the to get to the church right and you know you're at the church you're in your wedding dress you're like come on like what's going on meanwhile this guy's almost here he's just getting he's just in the barber's chair getting that last minute close shave that's that's what i'm getting he's just put on his suit there's the suit um, mentality coming up he's suiting up and he's just getting that last close shave now what process of the shave is he in he's in the part where um, for a few of them they're they're still applying the foam you know with the little brush and then for some of them they've already shaved off the foam and now but you know how it looks like when it's shaved off but there's still some um, foam on the face a little bit where the razor missed or carved out and now they're about to wipe it off with a wet cloth so again they, that's almost that's soon now for the lady take a look oh look at that cat spirit in the meantime the female energy i love this card it's so feminine the cat spirit look at how it says claim your independence so you've been working on being yourself learning to love yourself being independent and look here's the promise sweet results await okay sweet results await and in the meantime you know so it's one of those things if you're a libra and this reading is for you and it resonates it's one of those things where it's like you probably keep getting this message of oh 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 there's someone <laughs> look you see <laughs> okay that was not that was that was intentional not by me like i i just <laughs> anyway i just heard ho 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 so there's the Christmas, there's the embedded secret Christmas connection, gift, whatever, present, surprise, connection. But there's also this energy where you're like, you've been getting this, oh, you know, just hold on, you know, you know, someone is coming for you, but for right now, focus on you, love yourself, blah, blah, blah. And that's all well and important, guys, but I get it. It's stressful because it's like, look, where are we going? What are we doing? You know, if you're out here biding your time and you are ready to move into the next chapter of your life and, and, you know, Fortunately or unfortunately, you're going to be joined by somebody, but you have to wait for them. And you're like, can we just get this show on the road? That's the kind of energy. And so it falls very flat when the when the idea is, yeah, well, you shouldn't wait for a person. You should focus on you. And yeah, that only takes you through so many nights. Okay, <laughs> let's put it that way. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. I just felt to do that. Oh, OK, boom. There it is. You see clearly now. Okay, so I guess the closer that we're getting to this time for connection, um, it's more and more is getting cleared up. Okay, so if you feel that this reading is for you, then woohoo, just hang in there. I don't like to project times unless it comes through the reading and it's coming through the reading. I was going to say, just wait a few more days. I don't know. <laughs> um, I just got Australia for somebody. For somebody, Australia is a thing. So maybe you're in Australia. Maybe this guy or this gal is Australian. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end this reading now so that it can fit properly on Instagram. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you know how to find me. Do a little sleuthing. My shop is on Etsy. And you can find the link to my Etsy shop um, on Instagram and YouTube. Okay. Thanks, guys. Mwah.